The Intel Core i7-5557U is a Broadwell U-series processor that launches in January 2015. And 5557U is one of the higher performing U-series processor while keeping the power consumption same at 15 watts as the other i7, a dual core um, Broadwell processor. So, looking at the Broadwell, we have, it's a 14 nanometer uh, process and improving upon the Haswell from 20 nanometer. So, basically, Intel has not changed anything substantially on the CPU side, though they have done some of the work on the graphic side. And pretty much uh, other things are same in terms of architecture, chipsets, and so on and so forth. Uh, and you can expect a lower power uh, consumption for the same amount of performance. Though there is some low hanging uh, fruits improvement in CPU including the improved branch production and a better buffer size, bigger buffer size. You also have some new instruction set for cryptography which uh, software will be taking advantage of that in future. But that's going to take time. So. Uh, the i7-5557U is, is in fact a dual core processor with support for hyperthreading. It's caught aggressively at 3.1 GHz and uh, with 3.4 GHz in turbo and that's what we see from a leaked uh, uh, slide here uh, i 7 uh, 55 57U that's here 3.1 gigahertz and 3.4 gigahertz it comes with the aggressive 6100 and the surprisingly the wattage rating still stays same though the slide has this and this thing this column shifted we should have TDP here but it looks like it's a it's a reasonable Coming back to the TDP rating at 15 watt as we said and that's commendable job. We have a low power consumption here with, the, uh, with this improved uh, processor performance. We do expect a 5% processor performance improvement compared to as well. The number can change a little bit but that's higher end of the performance improvement. Uh, basic improvement through the processor improvement is the power consumption. Uh, graphics is a different story. We have native support for DisplayPort 1.2. So DisplayPort it's a it's a new type of uh, uh, um, data movement standard that's expected to improve the display and it provides display as well as data transmission on USB and other things and it's we are able to uh, daily change this data going for, through one one um, unit to other units or display uh, we have the support for direct x learn point two and this way intel is catching up with the amd's graphics and so far amd has the support for these things much earlier but intel is now catching up and with the we see a substantial improvement in graphics and you should now be able to play the games in low settings most of the, them and some of them pretty much uh, many of them in medium setting without an external graphic so that is one area that where Intel has improved substantially over the last six or seven years um, the graphics is also aggressive in Core i7-5557U we have the top of the line HD graphics 6100 with 48 execution units and we expect it to be substantially faster than the Haswell counterpart and we expect that i7-5557U should appear in some of the Apple's uh, MacBooks and MacBook Air line of uh, notebooks and the prices are expected to be aggressive for this part and that's what Apple pays and uh, brings out its products so we will have more updates on it in coming days so keep looking in the comment section and the details and we'll have some more benchmark results later on thanks for taking a look